Hey guys, you see me in my tatty, dirty old Tvex suit. Well, I did buy a new one. A cheaper one, because I didn't want to splash the cash. But you get what you pay for. And this piece of crap was so tight. And this is extra, extra large. I mean, I know I'm a big girl, but you know, hubby had to cut me out of this thing. It is crap. Um, the hood scratches the back of the neck. Everything's just, oh, I mean, I know I'm getting thinner because I'm losing weight, but oh, this was hideous. So I'm going to spend the extra dosh and get my nice silky suit. <laughs> so I've seen people making this treasure chest on YouTube and other places. And the one thing that they seem to get annoyed with the most are the hinges. And I will show you why. I managed to get one side glued down, but when it comes to the other side, yep, it's not having any of it at all. Or if you do manage to get it glued down, when you turn the lid over to close the chest, it snaps off. So I'm going to show you a way to make this easier and not be so annoying. So let's get started. And today I'm playing with chameleon powders. I thought they would work quite well on these little moulds because I wanted to get a lot of colour in there. If you don't want to watch all the colouring, then go to 3 minutes and 29 seconds. So I tried to put in as many colours as I could and the set of um, chameleon colours that I'm using there in the little pots with the holes in the top that particular set didn't have a green in it so I had to use some different mica powders otherwise they all went in together very nicely and I made several sets of fish and plants all different colours And then I decided to make some little jewels to go in the chest and I was kind of trying to bear in mind the fact that when you put these under the UV lamp, because these are made with UV resin and alcohol ink, I'm trying not to make the colours too deep because if you make the colours too dark then they don't cure very well. So that's why I'm sort of trying to pick up little bits and make the colours thinner so that they would cure okay. They cured, they all cured okay, but strangely enough, the colour that I had trouble curing was the yellow for some reason. Anyway, I cured these until they were nice and hard, so it takes a while. just using the heat gun to take out the air bubbles. Here you can see I've already cured the gems and I'm just putting them back in, taking them out of the mold and putting them back in to cure a bit more. So this will be the resin that goes in behind the chameleon powders for the fish. I decided not to use black because I wanted it to blend in with the project a bit more. So I decided to go with the blue and I think that worked quite well. The colours did pop. 
and as I said before I made lots and lots of fish and plants so that I would have a nice selection to choose from. I decided to make my treasure chest blue, like the ocean, instead of, you know, gold or brown. I just thought it would fit in nicer with this particular project. And I love this colour too, so <laughs> that's why I chose blue. A bit of the old heat gun, get the bubbles out. When you use these moulds, try not to over fill them. Yeah, especially this one. Try not to overfill this one, otherwise you get a sort of domed effect on the end of that piece that you're going to be sticking on. I also made the hinges in the same colour. So here we are, these are all the shells and the plants that I made, that you saw me make. I tried to get a lot of colours in there. When it comes to our moulding the, the plants, they're very delicate because the resin in them is very thin. So push them up from the bottom. That works better. Otherwise, you might just tear off a piece. You can see how flexible they are. <laughs> Do a little bit of cleaning up if you need to. Just take off any little bits of resin from around the edges. And if you need to clean up the seaweeds, be very careful because as I said, they're very delicate because the resin in them isn't very deep. So they're very bendy and flexible. I decided I wanted to jazz them up a bit. So I'm just putting on a bit of mica powder with my fingers. Um, sometimes I use a little brush because uh, it's easier to get the mica powder in any little grooves or things. Fingers work well. <laughs> I use two different types of gold. But this one I used the brush because it was a bit sharp. So I used a little brush to get the mica powder in there. And then remove some of it. You don't want to plaster it, just make it sort of subtle highlights. So I took a little bit off with a wet wipe. Because the plants were so bendy, I put a little bit of UV resin on the back, but I put a little bit too much on 
and it flowed down to the front and it messed up my plants so I used other plants that I'd made previously and then I put a little bit of this glittery mica on again just to sort of jazz it up a bit and this is the unmolding of the treasure chest now these two bits weren't too difficult to do <laughs> but the lid is an absolute beast I think it took me one and a half minutes to actually get the lid out of the mold And because it's so difficult to get the mold off you, and the resin is still a little bit flexible, there's a temptation that it might distort the lid a bit. So it's a challenge. These are the hinges and I've done mine to match the chest but these are the tricky piece of this project. So you get two pieces with little pins on them like that and two pieces like this and the idea is that they go together like this and they sit like so, thereby making a hinge. I did a practice run with these because I saw other people making them and having trouble with this. Um, and I think I found a way to overcome the hinge problem because you might get them stuck down okay that when you close the lid, they snap off. So, I'm gonna see if my idea will work. <laughs> I also made some little gems using the UV resin and made another set of hinges. This time I did all four pieces like this and these are the pieces we're going to use. So those are all the same four pieces. And we'll see if it comes together, hopefully. <laughs> So here's my the bottom of the chest and I decided to put some gold paint on it and I think it goes quite well. That colour, that nice blue and the gold, they go well together. Try to clean up as quickly as you can because this stuff really dries quickly and then when you've painted it give it a spritz of this. This is a gloss paint, so it will stay nice and shiny. Here are the shells and the fish that I covered in UV resin, but I didn't really like them. So in the end project, I didn't use those. I used others that I had sprayed with just Krylon. To make the base, I cut out a piece of this acrylic film and then sort of tried to imagine what the other pieces would like and made a shape like this and then put in some UV resin with the stones and made a frame which is what I was thinking of it as so this is basically a frame for what comes next
put this under the UV lamp. It'll take a while, so keep just keep going until it's not tacky anymore. So I managed to get the hinges on. They're not um, a hole and a post. They are four hinges with the holes in them, so they're all the same. And this is tricky. I put them on using UV resin. I did try super glue, but that wasn't strong enough. So UV resin seemed to work for me. So here's my idea for how to make these hinges work. And if it doesn't, then I'll be coming back to solve it later. So I made all my hinges, these ones with the holes in, rather than a pin and a hole, so that they would pivot. And I bought myself some of these cotter pins. And the one that I used was this one. Now I tried putting it through, but the head was too big and it got in the way. So I flattened the head down, it still didn't work. So I thought, okay, well, since this one goes through and it's the right length, I took the shorter piece of metal cut it off and bent one end over. Now we'll see. So, line them up. Have this piece facing down and thread it through. And I'll try not to swear because there won't be any editing on this bit. <laughs> okay. Yes, fiddly as hell. And try and finagle your way to the other side. So far, so good. Famous last words. And it closes. So now you have this at the back, and this is pointing downwards. Now I've got to close up this end without busting off the hinges. So, get something to, this is probably where it all goes tits up. <laughs> okay. Gently, gently. No swearing. Okay, I think that's as far as I'm gonna risk it. Does it work? Okay, so we have workable hinges! Yay! So this is the next challenge. And I think what I'm going to do is take the lid shut. Tape the sides. Hopefully this will help. So I've got it all lined up at the front. Apparently the little latch goes on. So this is tricky. I'm going to get a sharpie and try. And this one, it seems that there's one there. So, I don't know if you can see that. Probably not. There are my little dots. I'm trying to keep the drill flat. Get it on the hole. Someone with shaky hands, it's not easy. <laughs> my daily exercise I'm sweating <laughs> teeny mini little screws two for the top two for the bottom and now we'll see how accurate our holes have been another tricky job for someone with shaky hands and because you've drilled the holes the screws will sit quite nicely in there so you don't have to rummage around finding the heel she says. I'm trying to hold the front and the back together and not put too much pressure on the hinges. 
because there's a buggers to glue on. Contact. Oh, shake your hands. <laughs> have to pounce on the screw. Okay. Oh, of course. <laughs> Taped it down. I'm thinking, why isn't that opening? <laughs> Duh. It's okay. We're getting there. So, did I break the hinges? No. That's a plus. And. Yeah, stupids. I put the chain on to keep the lid partially open. Otherwise, it, the whole chest will fall over. <laughs> So I did that for stability, partly. And here I am putting UV resin on the box to attach this chain. And I didn't realize that it had actually slipped forward. So I was only giving it a quick blast of the lamp so it wasn't stuck down permanently, which was a good thing. This chain came from Walmart. I can't tell you what it's called. I've got no reference for it. But uh, I thought this went quite well. and back to the base. So this is just ordinary epoxy resin now. Yeah, and it helps if you actually put the stones in the cup. <laughs> the reason that I pulled the resin on first and then added the stones later was because I wanted to flatten the stones down to the same level as the frame around the outside. So it's just like putting icing on a cake. <laughs> just keep going backwards and forwards until they're level with the stones that you put on with the UV resin. And it will overflow, but don't panic about that. I will show you how to deal with that in a minute. So yeah, tap it all down, nice and even with the first layer. Also helps to spread the stones out a little bit. Yes, do not use your best craft scissors. Now, as you can see, the resin is still flexible. So if you can, don't leave it any more than overnight, which is what I did. And then cut away, and I'm using the little red clippers where there are stones in the way, because I'm not gonna use these scissors to cut those. And the little clippers go through the stones quite well. And then when you've done this, Use a bit of sandpaper, go around the edge, remove any sharp bits. And it's done. It's fairly easy to do. So you can see here, I made some different gems. Some of the clear ones that you saw me make and some with a little bit of glitter in them, just to make them different. With the fish, I used a black Sharpie to mark on the lines and also black Sharpie for their eyes. And then I gave them all a coating of Krylon spray to protect it. And you could use this little box, this little treasure chest to put your jewelry in. But beware that the pirates don't find it. <laughs> well, this was a little fun project another little beachy or ocean themed project that I had a lot of fun making and was able to overcome the challenges of this project. And I'm gonna have to use the F word to describe the hinges on this mold. Frustrating, unbelievably awkward to stick on and to get them to stay stuck on. But I did have a lot of fun making this and it took me several days to get it all together. But I'm pleased with the end result. I hope you enjoyed that. And thank you for watching. And I will see you again next week. Bye for now.